Hello and welcome to episode 12 of Unemployed to Unstoppable. It is the season finale. As you can see, the eagle-eyed among you, uh, we are one point ahead of Darlington. There are only two matches left, so it's do or die over the next two matches. We either will win as champions or we will finish second. There's no in-between. Um, minimum we can finish as second. It's been a fantastic season, no matter what the outcome is. I'll just quickly take you into the schedule because we've been remarkable um since that loss to oldham in fact leamington was the last loss we had in the league and um, we've just been on fire we had that 7-3 game which you saw last time in the last episode we then went on to beat darlington 2-1 and i thought we might make some ground on them we did slip to a draw away at telford but on the same day darlington happened to draw as well so it's it's kept us in good stead up until that point there we were still one point behind. Um, we beat FC United. Darlington drew. And I'll just show you that. Um, because, again, their, their form's been absolutely relentless. And that allowed us to jump over them. So them, them two draws um, have enabled us to slip into top spot. And hopefully we can now hold on to that. Um, so... Yeah, it's ours to lose. We'll see how we get on. We've got two matches. One of them is against Gloucester, I'm pretty sure, who are there or thereabouts where we are. Uh, but first, we've got away at Hereford. Potentially, we could win the league away at Hereford if Darlington slip up, but uh, we can't take that for granted. Uh, in terms of squad, uh, we have signed some new players coming in for next season. So, Oh, not new players, but... Extended contracts of Badgetich, Cover, Mills, Harker, Renshaw, Shalliner, Brown and Thomas are all committed to carry on next season. Uh, Waters, Graham, Flowers and Wilson won't sign anything new. Uh, and the rest of the players are the the youngsters on non-contract agreements. Uh, Charles Nduisu Ondo, we did bring in his cover at left-back. Uh, that was more because uh, Badgetich was complaining we haven't strengthened at left-back. I brought him in and he still said we haven't, so we won't... <laughs> He wants to leave, um, such is the fickle nature of this squad. Uh, we're not too fussed if we can get up a division. We will rebuild the squad again. We'll have to for the challenge. It is the Conference National. Um, we'll also hopefully get some potential job offers in. And for those who are interested in terms of jobs that are open at the minute, you've got Wickham in Sky 1, Eastleigh in the Vanarama National League. Um, we're not linked with any of them. In terms of job security... There's a few insecure teams, but again, as low down, we could at a stretch maybe get a League 2 job, depending on if we win the league or not, um, would be Accrington. But I think we'll be too far off making that kind of kind of offer, so we'll just have to carry on as we are. We're probably looking for a full season in the National League anyway. Um, but without further ado, I'll click us through and get ready for the first match. It's exciting times. Um, I've got my cup of tea ready. I'm bedded in. I'm excited. And hopefully we can put this to bed in the first match and have a bit of a youth team run out in the second. But we'll, we'll see. Stay tuned. And welcome back, boys and girls. Here we go. Starting lineup of heroes ready to try and win as the league. We've got Renshaw and goals. Wilson, Flowers, Badgetich and Waters across the back. We've got Graham Cover and Brennan in the middle of the field. And then Thomas Mills playing wing support to Harker up front, who is currently on 46 goals for the season. He's got two games to try and get to that 50 mark. He quite often scores two, so I wouldn't put it past him. But uh, yeah, let's get into the match and see if we can secure the first of of six points necessary to guarantee it we'll get in the changing room just put a little bit of a pep talk in there uh, rob park has already been round and um rallied the troops to try and win the games moving forward starting with the hereford match we had a great outing in the last match and um, we have come from behind on a couple of occasions to secure the points hopefully that won't be necessary today hopefully we can have a repeat of it like, like a seven three type game where we actually take command of the game fairly early and, and can have an element of comfort about it of course the longer the game goes on the more tense it gets we'll also keep an eye on the dugout see if any results from the darlington game come through because of course darlington losing could also potentially uh, gift us some ground in the race for the tile early injury to Corey brennan then not ideal 
Patterson comes in as cover, one of the youth products who came in our way through the season. And actually, the next youth um, intake has come through already. We've only signed two players come through it. We were classed as elite youth players. Um, so they're five-star potential again. The rest of them, I didn't offer any contracts to. Uh, they haven't left the club yet, but they weren't at the same standard. And I actually think we'll need a lot of the wage budget for securing players for the National League. So what was with the corner then? In it goes. Harker gets up and gets one. So it's 47 goals. He's got three to go to hit the magic 50. We've got another highlight now with cover. Flowers drives out from the back, plays it back to Bajatic. Looking for a, a breakthrough. Harker's giving the ball away, but the defence pick it up again, and we've got a chance to drive forward once more. Bajatic to Flowers then. Cover back to Flowers. Slow, patient build-up. We just need to find a way to just penetrate the ball forward. And again, we've lost out. The ball's gone over the top. Chance for a counter, and they've got the equaliser. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure why they were messing about so much at the back there. It, certainly the ball forward wasn't the, the greatest. So it looks like we're going to have to do it the hard way again, which is a bit of a feature of this team. We can score goals, but by half, can we let them in as well? Which makes for exciting viewing. Uh, for those of you who are watching, um, it makes it very nervy for me because last thing we want to do is fall short of the final hurdle. Uh, we saw in FM21 save with Wealdstone a couple of occasions where we were the, the nearly men. We nearly got there and then we just fell short. So um, not going quite to plan as it stands, although we've got 45 minutes on a level playing field to get the goal we need. I've not seen any scores come through from the Darlington game. But uh, I'll have my fingers, toes and everything else crossed that they are currently losing. Uh, hopefully you all do too. Uh, because we, what we want to see is progression into the next league. Into the dressing room then. Not happy with the performance. Get out there and get the job done, in essence. Um, Mills having an unusually quiet game. Um, back four playing reasonably right. Waters is playing right back at the minute. Um, not quite is convinced that him playing there, but because he takes so many free kicks across the park and throw-ins, it's nice having him move around. Ball delivered in. Great ball from the Wandwaters. Harker gets on it again. And what did I say about scoring a brace? He's done it so often this season. That's 48 goals for the season. Um, I'm going to put my neck out there and say he's probably the, the highest goal-scoring striker I've had in any of my football manager saves. Uh, he's been pretty phenomenal. And I'm just glad uh, we've got him for another season because I don't want to play against him. Can he secure his hat trick though and leave it with just one goal in the final match? Well, I'm not sure. I'd like him to. Uh, we'll certainly go all out to try and get him that game, uh, get in that goal if we can. He's got 20 minutes to try and get one more here. If he can rustle up the fitness for it, he is getting a bit tired and I, I get the feeling the coaches are going to suggest subbing him off in a minute and we'll bring Steve Bowden on. There we go. Um, we'll save him for that final game because, it, again, it could be crucial. Depending on the Darlington result, we might still need to go out and stick in a performance against the Gloucester side who are fourth in the league and challenging for a, as high a league place they can for the playoffs. They'll want the seed in as there is a chance for Hereford just at the end of the game. Waters has picked up the ball. Hopefully we can break up the other end. Bowden's break past the back line. Can he seal it? Yes, he can. 3-1 up with five minutes to go. Surely that is the three points we needed. All we need to do to seal this match now is to see a Darlington 1-0 down pop up. As Hereford deliver a ball in, but it comes to nothing. Four minutes of injury time. We just want these to fly past. We'll get our Ondo on just for a little bit of a debut at left back. Two minutes to go. First three points of the six required. Darlington with a 90th minute winner. Oh, did you know it was the league in the bag there? If Oh, mighty me. Is there anything to stop Darlington? I just, I've never seen anything like it. We, we've had probably one of the best seasons I've ever had. And there's Darlington just happily plodding on 109 points. 
I mean, our goal difference is far superior, but credit where credit's due. Darlington have been nothing short of phenomenal. Any other season, this would have been wrapped up a long time ago. While doing this, I'll click through. I'll get us ready for what is the absolute pivotal must-win game now. It's a win and you are promoted. Lose and you're probably not. So stay tuned and I will see you again shortly. And welcome back. So here we go. Final day of the season. Chance for some players to make themselves known as heroes. Go down in Curzon Ashton history. We've got Renshaw in goals. We've got a back four of Ondo, Wilson, Bajetic and Waters. Graham Patterson covering the middle of the park. And Thomas Mills and Harker making up the front three. And if nothing else, I'd just like to see Harker hit that 50 goal mark. It would be quite impressive for him to do it. Whether we can muster that up because we're playing against fourth place Gloucester. Albeit we have got a home tie. Um, it's going to be a, a very tight game, I would suggest. Darlington, they're playing away at third-placed Gateshead. So again, both of us have tough tough ties ahead. Points could be dropped from one, both either. But we just need to get out there and kind of do our own job ourselves. We have got a, couple, a little bit of inexperience on the pitch. Ondo at left-back. Um, he's only made his substitute appearance in the last match he's come in as his, his full debut this match and Patterson covering for the injured Brennan who got picked up that injury in the last match he's out for six to seven weeks with some knee ligaments um, which isn't ideal as Gloucester get the first chance of the game so we just go past the 10 minute mark Sonny Graham having an alright match uh, we'll need him to play well to stop any kind of Gloucester attacks in our in our end what we need to do is just make sure we get the ball up to Mills, Thomas, and feed it into Harker as much as possible. We've seen him score with his head. We've seen him score from outside the box, inside the box. I mean, if you give him the ball, he's, he's nine times out of ten going to get a goal in a game. So let's just keep going. We'll keep trying to attack and see what we can do. A second chance for Gloucester. Again, it's, it's going to be tight. Gloucester are a good side. They've been up there. They're close to that 100-point 100, 100 mark as well. And in terms of teams at the top of the league or pushing for that 100 points mark, it's it's been quite spectacular. I don't think I've ever seen three teams hit the 100 points mark. And again, let me know in the comments section how you've gone and how you deal with that kind of relentless pressure. As Mills swings in, Harker heads it back across the box and Thomas gives us the lead. He puts one foot into the National League. Again, if we can just come away with a clean sheet now, we will be there. We'll have made it. We will be league champions. Uh, I'm still looking out for some results coming in from the Gateshead and Darlington game. I've not seen any scores come through as of yet. But job is halfway there. We've got a free kick on the edge of the box. Matty Waters going to step up and take it. And he's fired it right in the top corner. Gives us a two-goal lead. We've got a little bit of a safety net. And now it's just about keeping cool heads, get them in at half time, give them a little bit of a team talk to hopefully boost the morale for that second half, keep a clean sheet, and we can walk away proud and accomplishing above expectations. It would certainly make the transfer window a lot more exciting. Uh, we'd be able to attract a, a better calibre of players. And um, yeah, we would have made the first step out getting out of the National Leagues. Uh, the National League itself is just as hard as the, the Conference North and South because the promotion places are fairly limited. As a chance for Gloucester, oh, he's missed it, but it was a, that was a, a reminder that this isn't by any means secured yet. 25 minutes to go. I'd, I'd like a third. I'd, I'd like Harker to get two, but right now... Um, I would just take it. If you ended the game now, I'd be happy. Um, never mind the 50 goals. I want that championship title. I want that promotion. And the journey finally gets properly off the mark. This is the, the second season in the, in the National North. And to get out the second attempt it would be quite the feat. We had a fantastic transfer window. I think... Rob Harker is probably going to be signing of the season. I, I can't see any other option from uh, the vote on that. Oh, and we've given away a goal with nine minutes to go. But it's been disallowed for offside. Oh my God, I was starting to... I was getting heart palpitations and panic there. 
We'll just do a little bit of extra pressing in the back. Just under five minutes to go. Darlington, oh, they're just... They've got a late winner. It should be too little, too late for them. We should still secure the league, but God, bye. How do they keep doing it? Late goal after late goal. And there we go. There we have it. Trophy presentation. The players rightfully lead their way up to accept the trophy. Couple of handshakes. Let's just wait for this. It looked like the referee was holding the red card there. So as we pass the trophy over and... Come on, woo, yeah, God, <laughs> first trophy of the season, get the confetti flying, get the fireworks going, um, and yeah, let the players celebrate, normally someone along here does a cartwheel, let's see if they're going to do it, I know in FM21 they did, I wonder if they've kept in for this first, there he goes, number 23, the gymnast, but yeah, let's get into the post-match, champions time to celebrate, a very unlikely um, scenario. I mean, we did manage to recruit some players who were tipped to become League One, League Two standards. But there you go, final, final table, one point clear. I mean, I would expect. I mean, Darlington never seemed to lose, so I would expect they're coming up with us. Um, and I will feed back on that in the next episode to see who's come up with us. And if I don't, please remind me in the chat section, and I'll, I'll definitely let you know. But yeah, we'll just have a, a quick look because I'm curious where we were in the uh, press rankings. I'm pretty sure we were quite high. We had a, a really good transfer window. So 10 to 1 we were, ninth. The same as Kidderminster, Darlington 7 to 1. So it was quite similar. Uh, Gateshead, Gloucester were up there. Oh, I didn't see where Boston and Kettering finished. Kettering quite low down. But yeah, all in all... A successful season, what a way to end the episode. Um, absolutely fantastic. Uh, I won't click through too much of this. Uh, in the next episode, we'll go through the end of season awards. Uh, obviously, you, you're going to know who the top scorer is. I think you'll probably hazard a guess who signing the season's going to be. But we'll go through all that. We'll have a look at what the transfer budgets are. And then we'll get straight into a transfer window to see what we can do in preparation for what is going to be a, a very tough season in the National League. Um I know we've only got seven players currently secured. We're probably going to have to bring in close to 10 players, maybe. I'm not sure. It depends how much of a budget we get. Again, are we picking up free transfers that come out of the Premier League cast-offs? If we can, we'll get a load of people on trial. And we will see if we can have a transfer window as successful as the last one. So once again, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to go and um, crack open a... A little something to celebrate and uh, I will catch you next time for the transfer window special. Take care and I'll see you soon.